Money, money, money. All people seem to care or think about is money and how to spend it and how everyone else is ruining it for everyone. So where did this whole paper trading system even start? Well, if you've seen any of these videos, you know that the Egyptians basically created every system ever. Back in the day, people lived simple lives, either getting what they need on their own or trading what they got for something that someone else got. Then the Egyptians had way too much grain to handle. If someone wanted to trade for a bunch of grain, they'd have to carry it all back to their house. So someone thought, hmm, here's a special something that counts as grain so you can get the rest later. This kept going as people started using pieces of metal and acting like they meant something. They'd use these things to trade for things rather than using things to trade for things. But at first this didn't work out so well because shopkeepers were like, cool nugget. Now where's my grain? So eventually these metals were standardized into coins. So people all knew they were legit. Now they were great and all, but the people who were absolutely loaded had an issue. How do you carry around all these nuggets? Where do you even put them? Do you just have a dedicated Scrooge McDuck room or what? So yeah, not super practical. Then the Chinese came along and said, let's make some paper. But this was far from perfect. The government had all this money to dish out, but they could just literally make more. That's inflation. And honestly, that's kind of where we're at today. Basically every country in the world uses their own currency or someone else's. We've improved things Things like making bills hard to fake and digital currency through banks and cards are making things more convenient than ever. This is all great and all, but holy cow, nobody knows how to use money. People all over the world don't know how to manage money. Too many people know how to exploit money and I don't know what's going on. The system is clearly flawed and I'm clearly the one for the job. I will fix the world one piece at a time. So let's get to it. Money two. Alrighty guys. So as you guys probably know, I like to start with whatever system, then tweak it from there. But I think we need to be pretty original on this one. I can't just take a US $100 bill and tweak it around. That's just what they already use in movies. No, today I'm gonna make something bigger than that. The US is just one country. We're making our money global. That's right. Every single continent is expected to use this as their main form of currency. Honestly, that's one of the biggest fixes I can do. Now all these problems within and between countries will work out a little better. Simple as that. Okay, so now we're gonna decide which bills to have and how much they're worth. So I'm actually gonna follow America's currency just a little bit, but I'm gonna make it a little different. So we're gonna have bills for the 1, 5, 10, 50, 100, 200, 500, and 1,000. So I know you're noticing that these bills are getting pretty big. So how much are they worth? The one bill is now equivalent to about 25 cents. So if we plug in all the numbers, one is 25 cents, five is one dollar and 25 cents. So montages are cool. Originally, Oates made good, uh, not boring montages. Then he decided to calculate numbers and make it really, really boring. What's even the point of this anyway? So yeah, here we go. Montage two. So the first thing we're gonna add is a timer, just to make it more intense. Now let's add to that. Why isn't the montage ending? Actually, wait, the montage is over. Yeah, never mind. So here's all the conversions from dollars. So yeah, this solves a major problem in many countries. Currency that is way too small. Cents are cool and all, but when am I ever using anything below a quarter? So now there's not two sections for money, it's all just one unit of measurement. Also, what should we call them? I think it's gotta be one syllable and easy to say. Uh, let's go with grain. Pay tribute to its origin. So yeah, one grain, 1000 grain, and so on. Let's make a logo. So it's gonna be the one and the G to represent one grain. Ooh, actually, hear me out. One grain. That's the grain logo. Actually, that's kind of like a four. Go like one. So we're gonna go up and down with the one, a little more down so you can tell it's a one and a G. Very elegant. Now for the actual thing. Money's always had its physical deal to do with it. Most physical money at this point is a paper rectangle or a metal circle. Now these are great and all, but the bill has one problem right from the start. Here's the $1 bill. Here's the $5 bill, the 20, the 100, pretty cool. Now close your eyes and tell me which is which. Great, now open your eyes. I swapped them. So yeah, you can see what I'm getting at. If you're blind, you simply can't have money or you will be deceived by all the terrible people in this world. So let's fix that. The first solution I thought of was adding braille to the bills, but that would just wear off really quickly. So the only way to solve this is to make some fun shapes. <laughs> they're actually all gonna have the same sort of outline with the rectangle, so they're still easy to manage in wallets and stuff. But we're gonna do things with the edges to distinguish which is which. 
Okay, so we got eight bills, one to 50, then 100 to 1,000. So one grain is just gonna have rounded corners. Pretty simple. Five grain, we'll do the same thing, but flat, like so. 10, we'll just have a diagonal cut like this. And 50, we're just gonna do the same thing, but flip. That doesn't work. Maybe I do something else. 50, we'll do... Uh, 50, we'll just do this like circle cut out. You know what I mean? 50, we'll do the opposite of the one and do this thing, like movie tickets or whatever. 100, we'll, we'll keep a rectangle. 200, we'll do this little angle. 500, we'll do those angles, but on the edges. And 1,000, we're gonna make real special and make the middle have a circle cut out. This is gonna look top of the line, guys. Okay, now we got the shapes. How about the designs? So we want this to be cohesive and make them all look like the same style. So we gotta make things look mildly similar while still being cool. So let's start out with this diagonal line. This will split the bill's color between light and dark. Now since all the bills have that left flat edge, we'll use that for the main subject. The one will be yellow, with the left side featuring a type of grain, let's just say an oat. Now the middle will simply just have the grain logo. It'll say one grain, not in that color though. Great, there's the one grain bill. So I think you get the idea. I'm gonna do a similar thing for all of these, so I'm just gonna go rapid fire. The five grain is gonna have a paper clip. Don't ask me why, just feels right. And it'll be orange. 10 is gonna be red with a water bottle. 50 is gonna be green with a t-shirt. 100 grain is gonna be a different green with bird from Egypt. 200, we got cyan with the monkey. 500, blue, a T-Rex. And the 1000 grain is gonna be a bit different. Since it has this cool hole in the middle, we can't put the logo in there. So instead, the grain logo goes on the left and right, showing itself off in a nice purple. <laughs> Look at this guy. Oh, I need to design the back. Okay, so the back looks like this for all of them. Now it's clear you're supposed to look at the front because it's the cool side. Now for some bonus, bonus features. I kind of switched it all to bills, mostly because that's what's used more, but who doesn't love a good coin? So every single bill now has a coin equivalent, ranging from small to big, one grain being about the size of a dime, and a thousand grain being the size of a CD. The front just has the subject on it, so that'd be the t-shirt for the 50 grain, and the back just has the grain logo. So yeah, small to big based off the amount. We're still gonna incorporate banks and cards and stuff, so that's all good as long as they use grain. Now I mentioned that the thousand grain coin is the size of a CD. And as you know, the bill has a hole in it. The coin will match this and it will actually be functional as a CD. Only those rich enough will know the great knowledge that can be heard on the hundred grain coin. As you can see, it's just a circle of grain logos. Alrighty guys, this is about 250 better than dollars. And all the other money systems for that matter. I'm excited for grain to be the next big step in world peace. And yeah, subscribe.